At the 2019 Amstel Gold Race, Team Dimension Data found themselves in a unique position. Their lineup included the previous year's complete race podium, having signed Michael Valgren, Roman Kreuziger, and Enrico Gasparotto in the off season. As a two time winner, the Dutch Classic is close to Gasparotto's heart, giving the Italian a valuable perspective on what it takes to conquer the race's undulating terrain. I like Amsterdam since, since the, um, the first moment. In 2010, with Astana, I could be third for the first time on the podium. Um, and I think that year I realized uh, that that was a race that I could could, could have won. Uh, and it happened at uh, 30 years old uh, with Astana um, in 2012. And third was Peter Sagan, so I'm pretty proud of that podium, obviously. Inside the final 500 metres now, perfectly positioned is Gasparotto, who has not taken one single turn. He's won this race before, he knows how to do it, and here he's going to try and sprint for the memory of Antoine Dumoitier, who died three weeks ago racing at Gembwebelgem. 200 metres, here we go, Gasparotto surely has it on a plate now. Gasparotto hits the front as he into the final 150 metres. He won it four years ago, it looks like he's set to do it again. Again, it is Enrico Gasparotto with the perfect performance. 2016, my second win was uh, was something special. Uh, I will never forget it. It happened immediately uh, after a super bad moment, hard moment uh, for uh, for me, for the team Wanty. And uh, there are many reasons uh, why that win uh, is so special. I was in a Pro Conti team. Uh, at the end of 2014, it was quite hard to find a team that made me proud of what I've done, what I've achieved uh, four years after my first win in Amsterdam. And, um, and again, last year I was third uh, on, the, on the podium together with, uh, with Nickel and Roman, and uh, obviously in Gran Canaria where we were where we were in uh, December for a small private training camp. Uh, we were all together, me, Michael and, and, and Roman, and we joke obviously about that, but that's part of the game. While Amstel Gold is often a race for more experienced riders like Gasparotto, it was a newcomer who prevailed in 2019. I have won Amstel uh, with the finish at the top of the Cowber in 2012. Then I had to switch my strategy uh, in 2016 to win again because the finish was uh, complete in another place. And even last year, I had to switch the, the strategy of the day because uh, I attacked together with Roman quite early. In the one day race, uh, you have I mean, so long races, you have one shot on the gun, just one shot. And uh, if you need to calculate it when to spend that shot. Otherwise, if you make a mistake, you are out of the race. Just to understand uh, when is the right moment. Wait, but don't wait too much. And also to switch in the head, uh, you know, the tactical. You, in one day race, you need to be ready to to, to change your, uh, your initial idea during the day. And uh, that's the key, I think. And he's right back in the game. How did they let them do this? And I think he's behind. Kwiatkowski at the front and Fulsang in third place. 600 metres to go, but we've got a group of other riders still ready to go. Kwiatkowski is now towing Alaphilippe to the finish. 400 metres. Van der Poel behind, Clark with him, Shackman, Valde, Madwa, there's Lombrecht, Trentin, De Marquis and Monoma, but it's the front three we're occupying ourselves with at the moment. This still could be anybody's. We've had one breathless finish already today. We're going to have another now inside the final couple of hundred metres. It's Anafini who takes up on the right-hand side. Look at Van der Poel going from behind, though. Look at Van der Poel on the left-hand side. Mathieu Van der Poel's going to do it. Mathieu Van der Poel, this is incredible. something amazing and, and uh, 
When you cross the line, it's happiness. Happiness because for me, the Ardeni Classics is the, is the season, actually. <laughs> it's, uh, it's something that I feel from inside, something that I... the feelings that I have during that week. I cannot compare to anything else. It's the real motivation for me. It's the reason why I'm still riding the bike at 36 years old. And, uh, and I'm still confident that, uh, that my dream, that is Liege, Baston Liege, is still possible to win. It's gonna be a different race, definitely. And uh, I'm a dreamer, I'm still keeping my dream on.